Oh, is this what we're doing? Mary Goofy's movie. It's gonna be off <laughs> for some reason because we're like a little bit. Well, that's true. It's okay. <laughs> I'll have to like anticipate. <laughs> we had the top three of Canada's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jamar, for throwing me down the stairs. Uh, show the girl. <laughs> had me and Jamar for the entire season. My God, and it was an international run. Huh. <laughs> He'll be back for Holland, but we're giving him a two-week break, okay? Because you already know so... a whole new world. I would have said September 18th. I'm like, you guys hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hate me. A week before my birthday. <laughs> Love it. Cue my theme music. Listen. Everybody, it's your boy Maddie Rance. And Jamar Four. Thanks so much for tuning in. Do us a favor and hit that like button, hit that share button, and subscribe to this channel, your boy Maddie Rance, and as well as my friend Jamar Four on his YouTube channel. Now we're gonna go through our social media links real quick here because I know you want to get into the show and you're not really here for most of the banter, even though I'm gonna give you the banter today. At Maddie Rance on both Facebook and Instagram, at the Maddie Rance on Twitter. And if you want to donate to the channel, because my birthday is around the corner, I'm also going to put up my Amazon gift wish list since it's been asked of me to do so. I'm like, sure. <laughs> uh, that would be Cash App Dollar Sign Maddie Rance, Venmo Maddie Rance, and PayPal.me for its Maddie Rance. Jamar 84, where can <laughs> they find you? So you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, YouTube as well, as he mentioned before, at Jabbar84. The only other platform is TikTok, which is Jabbar840. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Shit. I know you enjoyed that versus friend. It was cute, huh? Ooh, I mean, for more reasons than the actual music. <laughs> ah, well, we'll maybe do a surprise video one day where we discuss our opinions on that because that one was a cackle uh, for all kinds of sorts. But this is about Candace Drag Race today. We're going to run through this really quickly because honestly, it was one of those kind of episodes. As a finale, there's only three people left. How much can we talk about? It's the same kind of routine. But when I tell you, Jamar and both me can agree on this, that runway, we were surprised when all the uh, eliminated queens came out and decided to serve. <laughs> <laughs> well, last, one last time. <laughs> woo, well, almost all of them. Almost all of them. And I will keep it real on that. <laughs> I won't um, be kind. Immediate recollection. There's only two out of the, how many do we have? 12 that I didn't like? Oh, was it 12 or 13? 12 or 13? I don't remember. But I think there was only two that I didn't like when I think about it offhand. Which is still good. That's an 80. It's a B. 12, you're right. Okay. So, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Look, did y'all see how I had to count that? I was, I was like, like, is it really counting? <laughs> I was like, I have to do this to make sure I have the numbers right and I don't mess up here as we keep this hair in a good old side swoopy dee whoop dee whoop. Um, that was cool. The per the performance was actually kind of nice. The song was really great. I was I was here for the You Wear It Well. And, you know, I said, well. <laughs> and well. I liked the last little lip sync, which we finally get to see a particular person show us some little song song. So let's just get me to run through it quickly, because I know Jamar's like, let's get to these looks. Yes, okay. I'm gonna say, I want to get to the runway, the runway and the actual performance. All right, <laughs> let, me, let me get it around. Let me, let me turn it in. All facial expressions by Jamar 84 will be brought to you by Jamar 84. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Top three return back into the room. Everyone's like, holy crap, Batman. No, not that Robin tease. But yes, we made it this far. They go over their track record, which was, well, I've never been in the bottom, so what's the tea? Well, I've won this many, so what's the giggle? And I'm the lip sync assassin, and I've won this many. They kind of balance each other out. And that's what the whole, car yes, that was the conversation. They balanced each other out in a sense to where this could be anybody's game. So it's about what you do in the finale that makes the difference. 
The next day comes around, apparently they're still in winter clothes because it's cold as hell in there. And Brooklyn Heights <laughs> walks in in a tailored suit, not too much like RuPaul's because the ankles did meet the hem. Now I will say, Brooklyn, I did enjoy you in this suit, all tea. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, w I was here for your presentation and form, but you were basically telling the girls, hey, this is the finish line. I've been here before, <laughs> but you need to do a whole performance to the song You Wear It Well by RuPaul. For those who don't know how it sounds, in case you don't watch the show anymore because you're just here, you wear it well. Sandy. Did you just watch season eight? They played the hell out of it that time. The promo. That was the whole promo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole promo, girl. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, All those songs. Yeah. <laughs> they must make a their own verse to it. This could be either by singing or by rapping or whatever they want to call it. And they need to perform a, choreog a choreographed routine as well uh, on the main stage. This is by Ralph, who was apparently the same person who's done their music arrangements before. Shout out to Ralph. Her jacket was everything. That oh, was your so style cool. is great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like a good old great. nice pony with a little puff a jacket. <laughs> well, something, something. <laughs> Cut off tea. Um, teas, excuse me, not a tea. Damn. Oh Lord, it's been a long day. Ew. And then we what? had, <laughs> I felt like Lemon when she was doing JoJo Her's, Siwa. Yeah. Her's JoJo Siwa. How? <laughs> <laughs> I never would have thought that Lemon would be funny. Um, <laughs> I never not, be funny. not too sour. Um, and then Hollywood Jade is the choreographer and Brooklyn Heights will be sitting in on this. I would like to note that this is now, not only has Stacy taught them runway walking, but Brooklyn has now sat in on a dance routine to assist and give them, well, this is what I would change up. You might want to work on this. Focus on your face, Priyanka, because that's what's messing you up. I like tips. this. I like All good tips. <laughs> I like the judges being able to give something back to the contestants to let them know that they're we've been here or we kind of feel where you're coming from versus just, this is what you're doing wrong. So I like that from Brooklyn. Now, through and throughout all this, there's conversations. So many y'all. They love each other. Oh, it's been a while. Oh, we've made it through so much to get here. It, and I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying, you know what they were saying. Now, also, what was this whole floor display of a very open room at Ikea for the sit downs with Jeffrey Boyer Chapman and Miss uh, Tracy Melshore here. Cause those were some futons that they were just sitting that comfortable. Bitch. Someone said Walmart futons. I said the ones that come in the box that you got to pull out real quick. And then the simple real time. Come on college days. Y'all know which ones we're speaking uh, of. So that's all you can get. Many I, set happened on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it was cute. They had some great banter back and forth. There were a couple of moments where I thought some of the facial expressions were a little weird or other things of that nature. Oh, okay. You, you're not going to beat me, dog. Uh, <laughs> keeping that. Uh, but yeah, I you know Tracy a bit better. I was a bit critical in the beginning, and some of you didn't understand, but just give me a second. I get used to people sometimes. I'm that kind of Libra, okay? But yeah, Tracy's cool. Jeffrey was there. And um, <laughs> I love how she changed up her wig. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad you caught that too. Now, <laughs> the rehearsals were funny because. Rita Baga was dressed like she was going to abduct somebody, possibly. Someone said the Matrix in my comment section, and then Priyanka said the Matrix, which I thought to myself, I mean, she couldn't even be in the Matrix. That's too heavy of clothes. Whether she's kicking anybody ass in this. It was kind of funny, though. It was. I was like, girl, you were in the... It must be cold. It must be. Um, but yeah, this was kind of cool getting through all this, y'all. I, I, I got to say that if I miss anything in between, it's because my breath was taken away once we got to this later section and then the performance started to happen here. So Jamar, I'm gonna let you jump in. 
Because I'm been, like, I've been leading I mean, the way. There's really <laughs> nothing they say, oh, our track record, we're all on the same page. Oh, I love you because you represent this. Oh, you know, we've been through so much. We've had our highs and lows. I love you all. This is why I want to win. It's it's the same <laughs> cookie cutter formula. Everybody wants to be a voice for people to hear. Everybody wants to be the person they relate to. Everybody wants to change the world of drag because drag saved them. And it's kind of like... I mean, that's actually Scarlett Bobo's whole storyline. But, you know, I would have said Rita's more so. I'm a French Canadian. I need to win this for my for my Montreal, for my, for where I'm from, from, I hate that I said we're from my Montreal, that sounded so <laughs> ignorant. I heard you, I, my Canadian followers, I heard you, I just, I felt that sigh, I deserved it. I deserve, I deserve, that was a, that was a love and hip hop reference. No, I was about to say, don't go back there, not, leave not, that not, 2012. Woo, <laughs> gave birth to a swole chipmunk. Mm, mm, mm. I tell you. <laughs> This child. <laughs> Girl, uh, when that tooth fell out when she was singing, oh, Mama D, y'all look it up. You're welcome. Have a laugh. Uh, Rita, Rita wants it for Montreal. Uh, Scarlett wants it for her, not just her platform, but everything that she's been through and because she is such an advocate for the LGBTQ community. And Priyanka wants it for all the brown skinned girls all over the world. And somebody <laughs> who they, listen, the moment Priyanka started talking, I swear a brown skinned girl was playing all up in my head. And I was like, girl, she wins. I'm gonna have that song in my head. Especially with that outfit on. We'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> it was, it was, you know, very that like, you know, I, th I can come from this, I can do this and everything and such and such and forth. But um, yeah, so Jamar, continue. I'm, I'm sorry, friend, I had to jump in there. Oh, no, you're fine. I mean, that was pretty much the summation of everything outside of the performance and the runway that I really want to talk about. <laughs> but I want to cover those bases as well, because there are people that care about that stuff and it's important. And this is a review. Yes. The cap is still <laughs> on the first time I tripped. Wait, what? The cat was still on the first time I tried to take a sip, so it was like... <laughs> Is that strawberry lemonade? Oh my god, I have that in the, in the fridge too. I'm gonna get me some when I'm done. It's the best Bro, one. You gotta put it in the freezer too, get a little icy. Oof. Um, are you ready for the performance? I am ready for the performance. So, all in all, who do you think was the best? I'll ask you first. From, okay, we're talking about this performance, mm -hmm. performance that we just witnessed. Mm -hmm. Of you where, where? Between Priyanka and Scarlett Bobo running pretty close with each other, I would say, okay, vocally and lyrics, Priyanka. Physicality, I gave it a Bobo. Mm -hmm. I feel like, again, Bobo's performance is kind of like how she was in the competition, just very solid, mm -hmm. nothing is really wrong with it, it's good. Mm -hmm. But I think Priyanka's, just because of who she is and her personality made it more memorable. What's my name? <laughs> What's There's, my uh, name? <laughs> so, and I, Rita, Rita looked like she was still in rehearsal. <laughs> Woo, okay. <laughs> now, I was gonna be nice and I still am because I'm gonna say vocally Rita Slate because I like when she went into got into her singing, I was like, all right, here we go. Mama knows how to keep a tone. When the judges said you move so well and you were on beat and rhythm, I, I almost- like, I'm lying to you. When I say, who can I run to to complain about this, Karen? What? We all can see it. You can play it back. Mama was off. Mama was messing up. And it's okay. Rita was trying, though. She w It wasn't like she gave up on the moves, but. No, but it looked like she was like, okay, I'm supposed to move here. Five, six, seven, eight. Transition to this spot. Yeah. Okay, this. You saw when she hit Priyanka on that transition turn when they were doing this and Priyanka had bumped into her because it wasn't supposed to have been immediately that way and she was supposed to cross over just a little different. See, I was like, y'all, mm -mm, dancers, I know how that stuff's supposed to look. Once you see a mess up, it click, er, it's traffic. But um, yeah, I, 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 give, I give you that. Priyanka, I think, was who I was really staring at the most. At first, I was looking at her outfit like, what is this? Because <laughs> I what thought she was. It was some weird, like, the, 
I don't know what kind of flag football they're playing, but I, you know, hey, it was for a Gaga video. Oh, very that, yeah. Mm. Oh, early Gaga too. Oh, yes. That's what I felt like Scarlett was this whole episode. <laughs> very Lady Gaga. <laughs> but it was a good performance, <laughs> y'all, overall. It was good. She wore it well. She, well, mm, we'll get to Did that she? in a second. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> I mean, honestly, after if there's nothing else for the performance, <laughs> we can get into the runway chat. So did so they came out in their runways first before we have some other runways that we're about to get to specifically, okay, everybody? So this is the top three runway, and that's who we're gonna discuss first. Rita Baga as... No. <laughs> it's just a word no, is there a period? My God. Okay, I'm not gonna do Rita like this. It's not a chop. There's choppy things about this, but this it's is very, you know, fresh cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Girl, I would have said pickle, <laughs> a future pickle. See, so, yeah, pickle I Rick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, Pickle Rita. All right, what? we're done. Okay, no. <laughs> we're done because <laughs> we were about to go. We were about to keep this going. Sorry. Uh, okay, but Rita, I mean, the body still isn't had it. But again, the face and the makeup is still it's it's still great. It's still great. Um, I don't. <laughs> the wig is a high yaw chop. It is boom, Carl. <laughs> Like very Hyrule Temple, Legend of Zelda. Radiation poisoning. It is not okay. That's you will not turn into the Hulk after this. I see you green, but they're gonna. They're, she died. It, it was not a, you know, she wasn't a lawyer or attorney who turned into She Hulk. That did not happen. That that wig is a hiyo. I love this very dress. Me. Cersei Lannister. Ooh, yes, and died the work. See, I'm still mad at how she went down because you're telling me she got pummeled by rocks with her nasty brother who she was messing with, and that's how they get to go? Oh, please. They should have had the worst kind of death. I wanted dragons to pull them apart. I was that girl. What was happened to the, the Iron Throne is what I wanted to happen to Cersei. <laughs> Thank you. She should have been sitting on that Iron Throne, and that should have been the whole scene there of her just getting smoked. I'd have been here. Y'all forgive us for this Game of Thrones uh, conversation. We're still pressed about a year. Look, so sometimes I have to get it out. <laughs> had me watch all them hours of the longest conversation for that bullshit to see a Starbucks cup on a tape. All right, let me get back to this here. The dress was, I like the dress. I think that this wasn't a finale dress in my opinion, but um, I think what she did with the green makeup is not my tea, but I appreciate the effort to go, this evolution that she was trying to give from her first look that she came in the work work in. So yeah, not, not horrible, but you know, ooh, that wig, but everything else I'm like, yeah, it could have been different. Could have been different. Still no penny. Um, <laughs> Lemon. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I'm not going. I'm not, I don't want to go back through with Alona. Um, Next up is Scarlet Bobo. <laughs> Scarlet Bobo. Um, this is not a finale dress. It didn't get like air steamed or whatever that thing is that they put up against the, cause they were wrinkles in here. Like even like the flesh tone is like off color. So it looks cheaper. <laughs> but the hair and makeup's, you know, cute though. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know why when that flesh tone kind of came up that hit my soul. <laughs> Oh, no, because I'm Ooh. looking at it like as she came out, and I'm just like, <laughs> this is not. I mean, there's already a, a picture of this up on the screen. I forgot. Oh man! It? Oh man! Okay, all right. See it. I love you, Bobo. <laughs> that is not the shade of your skin. 
I did not mean to laugh that hard, but I that tickled me some kind of pink. Listen, <laughs> um, I'm done. <laughs> <kiss> my, <laughs> my opinion on April's was a little bit kinder than what she had said. I think here's the here's the scoop, Jackson. It does look like a duvet cover being carried by this, you know outfit that needs to be cinched just a little bit because that's what really looks weird with the skirt on the bottom it doesn't actually seem to f give a waist like there isn't like a deep like a like a little bowl i don't see a scoop you know i see a i got my good blanket from my bed on my hips i'm carrying around doing dits and splits like that is what i'm getting <laughs> very much uh I do like this, though, to be honest with you. I don't hate this. Um, I liked it better when the reveal happened. And I think Bobo's a little, April, April mentioned this, and I, I agree. The high boots didn't need to happen with this look. I mean, when, it, when, when she took it off, it did. It I did, think. exactly. But do you see what I'm saying? From the first presentation, it was like, hmm. But um, I like the wig. I love that red. I do, I do. And I don't know. I was kind of happy for Bobo in this look. I feel mean right now going through her like this. But um, this is in the finale dress, that part. The very, the very that. What yeah. she wore, I forget what week that was, but she kind of looked like Manila with the hair and she had that random like side piece attached to her. Oh, that was the prom. That was prom. That, was the, that look, y'all should have swapped. <laughs> that one you would have gave more yeah you know what I I would have, that was more of a finale in, mm -hmm. but she may not be able to lip sync the way she wants to lip sync in that So Mom, mama wanted to move around that stage I can see I can see <laughs> she's like oh my god I had no idea we were supposed to lip sync <laughs> couldn't, couldn't even handle it uh, next yeah. up who is the clear winner of this runway by far by means and i would say i would put this in a category of the rest of the all the shows of drag races mm. contender for best of drag priyanka leaps and bounds this is so right with jesus serving serving yep i was like i'm glad that you were able to save this one girl Ooh. It's, this would have been a shame on this, just on Instagram. This would have been a shame just to see on Instagram. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, guys, I wanted to wear this. No. <laughs> no, heart, heart, but no. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's traditional. It gives me Bollywood princess. It gives me tr almost as if she could be getting married or an engagement party in this type of look. It's very beautiful. It's very, I married a rich husband. He's a doctor. It is all of that. It is all of this. She is, she's paid. Everything. She's good. She is good. Note that long braid. I don't think a lot of people can see the long braid behind, you know, her headpiece. But... Mm -hmm. <laughs> she did it right. She did it full, fully together. And I, oh, it was just beautiful. I love that pattern. Mm. Mm. Those kind of reflectors on like darker skin tones. just Fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> Mama knows how to do a color palette. I'm here for it. Now, they have a moment on stage. They're given a lot of praise. Some of it's questionable, but it was an, it's the last night. Everyone deserves a little hug. Oh, we can't talk about the other girls? We're about to. Oh, okay. When they went backstage. And oh, then, they didn't do that first. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That's the little breakup that we're doing here, y'all. This is how this works. Um, oh, my friends are here. Oh, you guys. No, Jimbo did not open it up like that. But it was nice to see some of them. Mm -hmm. um, a few were grilled, kind. Dion Warwick, I should say, because that's not kind. She, that is she, well, she took it in stride. She did, it didn't turn into like a you know fisticuff situation. Yeah, yeah. She it was fun shade back and forth. There was lots of when I met you, I thought you were going to be this, and when I saw you, I knew we were going to do well. And you're my friend Lemon, you know, my friend Priyanka, uh, you know, all that good stuff. It was cute. You see how they had to match somebody that was eliminated with one of the top three. It was like Lemon was like, oh my god, Priyanka. 
Kiara was like, oh my God, my French sis, Rita Baghdad. And Lola's like, my sissy. So <laughs> oh yeah, you also heard how um, everyone was like, we thought Jimbo was going to be in the top three. That that was at least said by more than one person in that room. I was like, whoo, I know Jimbo was just sitting there like, the only one. I thought so too, <laughs> girls. <laughs> no, let's not take away from these three. However, when this was done and they were all talking about and discussing, oh my God, who they think should win because this, we all kind of were a little nervous on who they would choose. The eliminated queens got to return to the runway. Now we shift to eliminated queens runway final episode. And I'm assuming this is best drag. For most. Can we do this every season? I think this is a great, like, refresher, last minute, like, closure to everybody, to yes. honor everybody. They can bring their, <laughs> their last looks that they were going to do. And it, of course, it's always the big boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, absolutely. Let's start this off with uh, a little juice box, honey. Juice box has a vagina. <laughs> Juice box looks amazing, bitch. Oh, that wig is so right. I uh, like it this is. dress. It's cute. It's uh, it, it just It's very nice. This is like very like Katy Perry, California girls colored palette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Straws included with this juice box. I'm <laughs> here for it. Sip. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the ranking. She gets a sip. <laughs> I've been dying to do it. If she had been on this season more often, I'd have a bunch of juice box puns. Oh my God. Okay. Um, oh God. <laughs> Next up is Aretha uh, Franklin. Her wig. <laughs> Aretha, Dion, Patty. Uh, it's just all in one. Anybody from the beginning of their careers in the R and B game uh, situation and story. Rue McClanahan. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Do yourselves a favor, hit this like button. I don't like you. Did you bring up Blanche? Blanche into this big. That is Blanche. That is low key Blanche. Because so I have this like paused frame of her, and <laughs> she looks like Blanche. Oh, Kai, I didn't care for this, and that's the, uh, I'm, I'm done. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make fun of this anymore because that's all it is. It's something to make fun of. I mean, it's just, oh, never mind. Up Let next is Anna Star. <laughs> I'm just being real, y'all. I don't like it, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna drag her. That was that was that was the final look. All right, girl. Uh, ooh, this. I want to make a Ryuki reference that you're not going to understand. I feel like. I feel I've, like I've watched the show. Try me. Uh, I was say, <laughs> Anna Star just giving me wing dragging a bra. <laughs> Bye. So, look, okay, so you see it. Bye. You see Fuck you uh -huh. for that. Because yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Second of all, I so want this on a trading card. Somebody, please put a side by side with her and the way dragon. <laughs> I will. Will this, you do that for me? <laughs> this is so Oh, this is so severe. Anastasia Nakwe, this is drag. That is high drag. That is so... That looks expensive. Yeah. I mean, I know you made this. I know you made this. Like, if you didn't, whoever did, yeah! But That's not, that is... I don't even know what, what the base of that. Like, how was the detail, The detailing in this, y'all. Like, okay, you, you can see it on the screen here, but I'm just saying, like, that was time. Oh, and presentation. Oh, severe. That was my winner of the night for the runway. Honestly, like Priyanka was served, yeah. <laughs> but Surprising. that surprisingly, that that would have been an excellent look to be crowned in. Like, can you imagine, girl? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. It was so pissy. Oh, it was so good. Oh, Tainomi Banks up next, and girl, this made up for the whole season to me, in my opinion. I was I was here for this look. This was, you know, still very Wakanda fish, very Naomi from the Matrix. Um, I think this is actually, like this dress has too much tool. Like the tool goes too high. 
Like, I really like her hair and makeup, but the dress is kind of like that. I tried so hard, and then Jamar made me look so deep into this picture. Um, agree. Because <laughs> I think we're so enamored by, you know, the styling of the hair and makeup, which is great. And it's cute, I have a question. I just, had, I just had this thought. Uh, what if she had this hair and makeup, but then had that outfit that she got illuminated in with, like, the night or whatever her and Alona was supposed to be. What if she had this hair and makeup? Would it have made it any better? No. Nope. No. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I was like, oh, that might look more warrior princess, but right now. Oh. Uh, so up next is Kiki Wanakai Kai, Kiara, and... I mean, there's more fabric on her body. Her makeup and her hair are stunning. The headpiece is stunning. The front of this corset bodice is beautiful. That is where I stop. Up next. <laughs> I, Kiara is like that lukewarm glass of water. That doesn't really rehydrate you, but it keeps you from dying of thirst. Oh, it's the warm water with salt. <laughs> the Bob, you have to gargle, girl, because your throat sore. See, now that's... That makes her, like, really salty. I don't want to get that. I don't want to Yeah, let's that. not do that. But I, that's all I can think about when you said lukewarm water. I thought of my daddy at the counter. Come on, Matthew. This is a whole remedy with some salt in the little hot water, girl. You had to gargle that shit. Hey, Ew. Girl, girl, ass out. I hate that. But it usually would work, though. It would work. It like did. Or throat to kill mm -hmm. that bacteria and get back there. But. Real quick. But, um... Um, Kiara, I like you. I just <laughs> there could have been there needed to be so much more to this than all of those feathers in the front of it. Looks like it belongs on the front of someone's house, like you know what I mean. When you go in to knock on the door, there's a wreath sitting there. Like, I don't know. I but she's so beautiful. I hate the boots, but she is so beautiful. But I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I Lukewarm water. <laughs> that's, that's, all. that's my comment. It's I hate lukewarm it's water. lukewarm water. It's like warm. It's lukewarm. But I was like, it's like, it's not cold and refreshing, but it's not like you're going to. I don't want to sip it though if it's lukewarm. Like, I still don't want to drink it. It's warm. Girl, put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so. Okay. Next <laughs> this girl. Is... I don't even know where we're why, going. Why? <laughs> why did. Okay, Boa. You have some nerve to come out in this same breastplate again. And I love this dress on you because this actually looked like a, you looked a little more glam than what I was expecting. I was assuming that you were going to open your mouth and a nipple was going to fall out. But right, or a third T or something. Instead, I, I get this same. It looks like you can honk it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Like it make noise, like it will squeak. Like a chick, like a rubber chicken, like rare. You know, it's supposed to make like a or a car horn. That's, that's that rubber uh, uh, material that is made out of. That's this. That's why I look like that. But I, I don't love, like. I don't like that. It, it does look like a gag toy or something. It it does. It, I just I think I've been so used to like bitch pudding presenting like really good breastplate wear and a lot of other queens too who have ones that just. It just, it's so shiny, matte face. Oh, matte, yeah. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> matte face, and you have shiny titties. So it's like, you're sweating here, but this is all good. I, that could be a real problem for, for people. I'm just saying, but you know, it's still a nice look. You were cinched for filth. I was here for that, so you know. The wig is nice. Yes. Makeup was never her, her problem, but. No, it was never not her, it was not her problem. And she's padded. We like to see it. It's unfamiliar in these territories. Yes, we're here for she's it. One of the few that does. <laughs> it, acknowledge the couch that died for her sins. Yes. Um, finished. Next up. Okay. Alona Verdley. Um, and I actually kind of like this look a lot. I was like, why is she covering her face, though? Because she was trying to give, like, 
I don't know if it was because of the hands being red over the face for the indigenous tribe tees, like that sort of like presentation. That my, yeah, that was my guess, but I was like, hmm. At least I, that was explained. <laughs> Well, you know, it's the final runway. They just told her, go out there, turn around, come back, get the fuck off the stage. It didn't win. No, we didn't, no, no, they didn't say that. They they totally yeah. said that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I like this. I liked what it represented. I like that she was, um, and this is something different that we, I didn't get a chance to see with her this season. So I loved it. I'm all, I'm all for representation. I thought it was cool. Lovely. Lemo, Lemo Queens. Um, da -da, da -da, da -da, it has a soundtrack. Diamonds and tiaras. Da -da, huh? da -da, da -da, it has a soundtrack. Oh. Her name's Lemon. Lemon, <laughs> she's coming out. Her name's Lemon. She said Lemon. Ah, lemon. It's very that, very that, da da da. Yeah, it's very that type of show. Cats, cats don't dance. Oh, <laughs> you don't know that fucking movie. Are you joking me? Do you did you forget this full conversation we had like years I did. ago? Darla Dimple. Darla Dimple. Yes. Such a oh my god that the last song was still the best song of that whole movie when I just had that full get together. Nothing's I mean, gonna stop us stop. now. Boom 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 boom. <laughs> Nothing's gonna. Stop. Sorry, y'all. Okay, y'all want okay. me on a musical? Get me up to an animation yeah. musical. Then I'm then I'm in. <laughs> I would love, man, I need to watch that movie now, but. <laughs> same, same. Lemon, I liked it, it was cute. This was brand, this is brand. Brand, lemon. Lemon. It's very brand. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very, very cute, very cute. <laughs> uh, Last, but certainly not, not least, least, the one and the only Jimbo the Clown, and this was very, I mean, on right right. on the money. Yeah. Very <laughs> colorful, stupid, just amazing. <laughs> A sexy clown. Um, kids kill me. <laughs> the obnoxiousness. It's very, you remember when Nina Benina Brown was on her season and we were just enamored by the fact that her breasts they were but ridiculous. Like, Nina's, hips were ridiculous. <laughs> Nina still was like woman. Still exaggerated woman, but this is just Hilarious. <laughs> Jimbo, you looked fucking crazy, amazing. I love you. And yeah, awesome. It was great. All right. The lip sync song, because all three had to lip sync. There was an elimination because they're nice. <laughs> Mar, what was the song? So the song was You're a Superstar by Love Inc. You know, one of those you know, you're amazing. You should feel, you know, like a winner and, you know, that cheesy stuff. An up-tempo song for some people who may feel slightly depressed that go into a bar around 6 p.m. on a Thursday night to get the special and have a good time because the Wells vodka has kicked in. Yes. Yes. $20 for a jug. Honey. <laughs> three straws for the three times you're going to need to get on there. <laughs> oh, 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 wow, please don't edit that out. <laughs> so it's Rita, Priyanka, and Scarlett. So Priyanka in this nice dress. I should Jamar, you describe this for forward for me here. I'm gonna sit back and make faces. Oh. So you're talking about like when they all like ask them why you wanna win, whatnot. No, I don't care about that. I think we're all good on that. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm talking about the actual lip sync. I mean, Scarlett ate them all alive. Scarlett ate them all alive in terms of the performance for me. Uh, Rita was present in the lip sync. She did a reveal of some sort as well. Uh, Priyanka was still emoting, as she usually does. She's very good at that part. And I was just like, Scarlett Bobo's Lady Gaga Edge of Glory slide across the floor was probably one of my favorite parts of the lip sync. She really, I'm glad we were able to, uh, able to see her lip sync at least once we kind of see what she would have to do. She would have ate anybody up that she would have been in the bottom two with. <laughs> so I guess. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> uh, she take the words out of my mouth because when I saw her perform, I said, "Ooh, we!" If she had went up against a lot of these people, <sighs> yeah, she she a clean sweep, clean sweep. Especially, for I imagine her doing to Deborah Cox. Babe. Okay, that's see now we're robbed of that moment. <laughs> that that that's moment. why I was like, Scarlett, we're glad you were safe all the way through, but low key, high key, after seeing that, I now feel like, damn, I wish you were in the bottom two at one point. Right, just so I mean, if that's what you're serving, then. you know, we kind of enjoy that. It's not always great to be safe for the fans. We like to see y'all cut up sometimes, y'all. You know, screw yourself over from the song. You know, it's going to be good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be me. Oh, it's gonna be my favorite song. I'm just gonna fuck this up this week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think it was a good song to go out on. It is. It was a great song. I enjoyed it. I like you say. Rita walked around Eureka's Eureka's castle, basically. Um, <laughs> Priyanka was emoting very well. She did a little, you know, rump, a little stop, and then back to this. Oh, again. that's right. I was like, why did she start off the lip sync? <laughs> yeah, she was throwing a little back. D just like how we be in certain places when you know that's not a part of the song, but you want to act like your song is on because you want to, yeah, okay. That's the go-to. <laughs> so, there is so much happening in the background for both me and Jamar. I have the garbage truck over here. You got the police outside. <laughs> They're like, wrap it up, fags. Okay, so listen. No, I'm going to have to cut that out because we can't say fags. Whoa. So, after <laughs> a huge drum roll, and me assuming they were gonna give it to somebody else because I honestly was like, Lord, if I want this one to win, but if they give it to this one, I understand, but if they gave it to her, hmm. But still, when they said Priyanka's name, I was so gay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Yeah, I was like, what? What? I, I could have swore Scarlet Boba was going to be the name to come out of that mouth. I was I was ready to hear it. I, I thought, thought she was too. I didn't know lie. I I thought that they were going to give Priyanka like the adore season six treatment, where it's like, mm -hmm. oh, she had this big growth and she she really like pulled it at the last uh, half of the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, but I thought they were going to give it to Scarlet. Like I've been consistent. I you know never been in the bottom. I just started to blossom and. They were gonna give it to Rita. They were never gonna give it to Rita. <laughs> she, they gave her a lot that they weren't gonna give uh, her that last a lot. Bit. They gave her a lot though. Um, I'm happy Priyanka won. I was surprised, gagged and gooped by the entire bit because it's like, wait, <laughs> what? And then, you know, it was a great season, everybody. That was a surprise. The, the full thing was a surprise for me. I loved it. Congratulations. Oh, so, y'all, hopefully we get a season two because, you know, we need an all-stars for several of these season one queens to come back. Wouldn't mind them being moved in and having 14 queens in a regular season of all-stars out here with a couple international queens coming out to represent. But, you know, it's just an idea. We could throw they might it as well, They're going to do all these side drag races. Might as well just pull them all together one time. That's what I'm saying. This doesn't seem too difficult. I mean, I, I don't know what the structure needs to be built for the art to then make it into these waters. But please, two of every kind. Two of every kind. I'm done talking about this because there's so much happening here. There's so much happening over there. We're going to have to wrap this up. My voice is literally clouding all of this. Jamar, final thoughts on this season. Uh, my final thoughts are it was a great season. I thoroughly enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going in. Um, I can't wait for them to come back. And congratulations to Priyanka, another POC winner of 2020. There you go. I mean, whoo, the list. The list <laughs> is long now. I'll tell you this, y'all. Congratulations to everybody who was a part of the season of drag, uh, excuse me, Canada's Drag Race. Uh, all of you first won home all the way to the winner. Thank you for entertaining us this season. This was fun. Judging. We'll talk about that. We, you got work to do, but I appreciate <laughs> what we witnessed this season, but there needs to be a little bit of a structure change up in that sense. Yes. 
this. Agreed. I'm not saying anybody needs to be fired, but I need someone to be a little bit more in charge than what is being given, because this is weird with three people. I'm just saying. Holland is next. I'm nervous. I am nervous. I'm just going to be real with you. That's why I can, Jamar's on a break, but me personally, we'll I'm over here like, girl, wh who is going to walk through this workroom and what are they going to be giving? And uh, I'll finish out Drag Race Vegas with April. Thanks again for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> make sure to like this video. Make sure to share. Make sure to subscribe. Y'all don't get to see half the stuff that gets edited out. I don't know where we go with this at the time. <laughs> I'm honestly going to keep a lot in for this one in particular because this is the last one and we were, there was some stupid shit. Anywho, hugs and kisses, my best love and wishes to you, our best love and wishes to you. It's your boy, Benny Rants. And your Marty Four. We'll see you again in a couple of weeks for Drag Race Holland. As for the rest of you, make sure to follow my friend on his channel and watch all of his videos. I may step in for another G status if it gets entertaining again. And uh, <laughs> and then also uh, be sure to check out everybody else who stops through on the channel. This we are a family. I got all my sisters in me. My birthday is in like almost two weeks. Oh my gosh! Ah, Libra, Libra. Okay, bye, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>